campus manager at Coach University Graduate School of Business. Um, first of all, can you all hear me? Can you see me? If you could write in the chat whether you can see or hear well, if the sound is okay, that would be great. Okay, wonderful. Great, so I will start to share my screen with you and I have a short presentation of about 20 to 25 minutes where we will talk about Coach University, the Graduate School of Business and in the Executive MBA program in particular. And then I can answer any questions you might have. Uh, you can use uh, the chat uh, to ask any questions that you think uh, other people will be interested in. There's also a Q&A function, you can also use that. And I think some of my actually colleagues might start to answer your presentation, even though we're still presenting, even during the presentation. So here we go. Um, a brief overview of Coach University. Uh, the university was founded in 1993 and uh, it's uh, uh, it's a nonprofit foundation university, one of the first uh, foundation universities in Turkey. Currently, we have 7,000 students in total, and of these, 1,300 are graduate students, and we have uh, international students from over 50 countries, 17% uh, international students in our graduate programs, a lot more than uh, the undergraduate programs. We have 22 undergraduate programs and 32 master's programs in the portfolio and 26 PhD programs and seven colleges and four graduate schools. So uh, Coach University Graduate School of Business was founded along with um, the university in 1993 and um, the MBA actually started at that year, and the Coach Executive MBA started in 1994. Back then, that was the first Executive MBA program in Turkey, and it led to the establishment of uh, many new Executive MBA programs in Turkey. And uh, we are very proud to say that we are the first Executive MBA program that has been listed in the Financial Times Global Executive MBA rankings uh, for the past 10 years. And last year we were ranked number 60 worldwide, and we're very proud of this. And our business school was ranked number 30 in the Financial Times European Business School rankings. When we look at these rankings, uh, the main criteria is increasing graduate salaries. So that really shows us that our graduates are moving along in, the, in their uh, business lives. So the mission of uh, the Graduate School of Business, it can be summarized in three words, and these are responsibility, leadership, and vision. Our goal is to provide knowledge, insights, and skills for future leaders, and we believe these future leaders to be leaders not just in their organizations or the companies that they're working on, but also in the communities that they live in. And we really want our alumni to be leaders that are socially responsible, are globally aware, and make their decisions based on information with a strategic focus. Um, here you will see a list of our accreditation and memberships. And th these might not mean a lot to you, but we are accredited by international organizations such as Equis and AMBA. And we are part of international networks, such as the Global Network of Advanced Management, Partnership in International Management, and SAMS, the Community of European Management Schools. And uh, we also have uh, memberships and affiliations with the CFA, the Global Business School Network, United Nations, Global Compact, and Prime, and EFMB. Uh, these are very important to us because they really help us benchmark ourselves to the best business schools and the best programs that are out there in the world and not just in Turkey. I would like to uh, summarize our, the different programs that the, global, uh, the Graduate School of Business has. So I'll start with the PhD in Business program. Uh, this is a full-time uh, PhD program. It usually lasts about four to five years. And uh, the aim of this program is really to um, educate academicians uh, to work in universities. In terms of uh, specialty masters, we have two programs. One is the Master of Science in International Management, and that program does not require any work experience. 
Our Master of Science in Finance requires a minimum of two years of work experience, and it is a part-time program. Our MBA program has several different options. So you can do the MBA program either full-time or part-time uh, in a modular way that we call the modular MBA. Uh, the full-time program lasts one year and the modular MBA lasts two years. And within the MBA program, we have several different tracks such as the Technology and Innovation Management MBA, Design Management MBA, and Healthcare Management MBA. For the MBA program, we ex uh, expect a work experience of at least three years, but the class average is closer to seven years. And we will talk more in detail about the Executive MBA. And this is a part-time program uh, that lasts uh, 13 months of classwork plus four months of project work. Uh, in this program, we uh, require a minimum of seven years of work experience and two years of management experience, but the class average is usually around 13 years. So this is a picture from the Executive MBA classes of 2019 and 2020. Um, the curriculum of the Executive MBA program is very rigorous. It's really for the 13 months of study, you have to focus a lot on your studies. It has the theory, of course, uh, the theory, theoretical and the analytical perspective, but really the focus is on application. Uh, we understand that our students are professionals and we really want them to sort of learn something in class on a Saturday and then go back to their work on Monday and use this, use what they have learned in their professional lives. So there's a big focus on international events. There's a big focus on strategic management. And apart from the classes, we have optional professional managerial skills programs uh, that I will talk more in detail about later. Uh, the Executive MBA is a lockstep program, uh, meaning there are no elective courses. All the courses are um, required courses, and there are 51 total credit hours, and this comes to close to, or maybe a little bit more than 600 hours in class. So these are all the courses that are in the Executive MBA program. Uh, we are recording this session, so we will share the link with you afterwards, and we will also put it on our YouTube channel. Uh, but you can see that, so I will not go through them one by one, but uh, you can see that we have the business fundamentals such as, you know, economics, finance, marketing, accounting operations. We have more courses that are geared more towards strategy, uh, the quantitative courses that are really useful for decision making and the global business perspective, managerial practices and the leadership development program. And uh, some of the optional parts of this program is coaching for leadership. Uh, this is so something we do. Uh, we offer group coaching for our executive MBA uh, students and they meet with a professional coach nine times throughout the program. So this is the regular program structure. Usually we start in the beginning of August uh, with two full-time weeks on our main campus. Uh, this year, due to COVID-19, uh, we are actually going to start uh, mid to end of September. So we're not going to have the two full weeks of uh, camp time, what we call camp time in August. And instead, we will start with regular classes with not doing the camp time uh, in September. Uh, this does not mean that the program will have fewer courses. Uh, we will be doing the courses in a different uh, schedule. Uh, it, it of course all depends on how things are going. I mean, today we started the normalization process uh, and if everything goes well, we will start with face-to-face -face classes in the classroom, in the, on campus. However, in case uh, the COVID-19 pandemic comes up again and, and uh, increases again, then we might have to start with courses that are delivered online, real time, but delivered online. Usually the courses end by the end of August the following year and then our students have uh, four months to work on an individual project and this is a graduation project that usually is a problem that you're facing at work that you would like to uh, work on. Um, so during the year we also have an international study trip. 
Uh, for the last few years, we've been taking our students to Georgetown University uh, to learn about uh, business and government relations. Uh, Georgetown University is in Washington, D.C. in the United States. I will share some pictures from our class trips 2018-2019. Uh, unfortunately, we this year in April, we could not take our students. So we're hoping that by next year, uh, April 2020, we will be work taking both uh, the class of 2020 and the class of 21 on separate trips to Georgetown University. Now let's talk a little bit about the classroom experience. This is actually a classroom from our Rumeli Feneri campus. Uh, the learning environment is very, very interactive. So uh, you will be doing a lot of case studies, uh, probably more than 50 during your year. And you're required to read these studies beforehand and come to class prepared. Uh, you will be doing many simulations and marketing courses and operations courses, and you will actually complete the program with a simulation where you act as the CEO of a company. Uh, there will be many assignments, project assignments, either individually or in groups. And class participation is very important because uh, this is not only a way for the professor to see how the class is going and to change the course accordingly, but also it's very important that we feel that our students bring so much valuable experience to the classroom that they also learn a lot from each other. Um, I mentioned group projects. Uh, you will be put in uh, study teams of five to six people. And uh, we change these groups four times throughout the year. So you get a chance to work with most of your classmates. And there's very close student faculty interaction. And uh, at the Graduate School of Business, we have a very uh, dedicated staff uh, with this program. And it's a family friendly environment. Um, right now, for example, these are unprecedented times and we're meeting um, once a week with our executive MBA class, uh, sometimes not the whole class, but they have a task force to make sure that, you know, they get the best uh, learning experience from this program. Um, these are some international opportunities. Usually our executive MBA students don't go for an exchange semester abroad, but you do have the option to do it. Uh, we, every year we have maybe one person who uses this option. Uh, what happens here is that your uh, total program duration extends for an additional semester. And you do not pay any additional tuition either to Coach University or the university that you're going to. Um, but if you are interested in this option, it's best to talk with our Office of International Programs at the beginning of your program. I would also like to mention the Global Network for Advanced Management. Uh, Coach University is one of the founding members of this network. Uh, in 2012, it was founded also with the leadership of Yale School of Management. And uh, because we're a founding member, our MBA students and executive MBA students have the option to go to Yale University for a Master of Advanced Management degree. And this, unlike the exchange programs, this is an additional degree. So you actually apply for it and there's a tuition for it. Um, and you apply directly to Yale University, but then you also become a Yale University alumni. I would like to talk a little bit about our faculty. Uh, so you will see here in the next two slides, all our executive MBA faculty. So we have Coach University professors, many of whom are working uh, in research. And actually a big chunk of them also having worked in the corporate life. And we have visiting professors uh, from universities in the United States and in Europe. And we have some executives that are working more hand-to-hand -hand, uh, uh, real life examples uh, into the classroom. And for our coach group coaching program, we work with uh, Ms. Evrim Jabbarolu, who previously used to work as a coach for Coach Holding. Here are some statistics for our current class. Uh, this year we have 52 students in the class. Uh, every year this number varies between 50 and 60. Uh, the average work experience is 13 years and this year the average age is 37. Um, the, the only one fifth of the class is women, uh, but 71% are married. Uh, um, and we have two international students this year, one from France and one from Georgia. And usually the international students we have are expatriates who are currently living in Turkey. 
When we look at the undergraduate degrees, you will see that more than half of our students have an engineering background and about a quarter have business or economics or finance. But uh, you don't need any specific background to uh, apply or to join this program. Um, previously, we've had students coming from architecture or English literature, uh, any other subject is fine. And when we look at the functional areas that our uh, students are currently working in, this year we have a high number of uh, sales and marketing, but we really do cover all, all the areas of a corporation. So these are all the companies that our current executive MBA class are working at. And the results, um, usually every year, uh, we, we see that about a fifth of our uh, students change jobs while they are doing the executive MBA. They either get promoted or they start with a new company. And then three years after graduation, this number is usually higher than 50%. So I think uh, all of our alumni agree that the executive MBA makes a big difference in their professional career. Now for the admission requirements, um, what we really look for is a high motivation for intensive study. And also it's important to have a support network from your family and friends, your colleagues and your boss and your work team. Uh, the minimum seven years of working experience uh, is, is a strict uh, requirement. And we also look for minimum two years of uh, management experience, meaning that it's important for you to have managed the team. The program is completely in English, so fluency in written and spoken English is a must. However, we do not require any tests. Uh, so we ask that you apply through our online application system, uh, GradApp that you see here, the link. And the, the application system will ask you some questions, will ask you to uh, upload your official transcript from your undergraduate institution. Um, there are three essay questions. We ask that you uh, answer them and they're uh, simple essay questions such as why do you want to do the executive MBA right now? Um, for the reference letters, we ask that you enter the email address of the person who will be writing the reference and an automatic email goes to them. And when we receive your application, we have rolling admissions. So uh, once your application is complete and you submit it, we review your application. And if we believe that you will be a good candidate for the executive MBA program, we ask that you come for a case interview. This year we're doing our case interviews online through Zoom. But you are, uh, what we do there is that you will meet with the admissions panel and before your interview, uh, you will be asked to read a case, a short four to five pages case. And uh, in the, the interview will be conducted in English and there will be questions about the case as well as other questions. So this interview is really when we um, understand your English level. Uh, in very, very few uh, times, the, the, there can be that, you know, we can say maybe, well, there's a question mark about the English level, should we ask for a TOEFL, but it does not happen very often. Um, for the admissions process, uh, thank you for joining our webinar. Uh, we usually like to have our information sessions face to face, but maybe this, uh, this way we're reaching more people. Um, actually, in that sense, I would like to sort of send a poll uh, to see, you know, how many years of work experience you have and also whether you're living in Istanbul or not. Um, you can also talk to our alumni or our current students. You can have a class visit. Currently, our classes are being done online, but if you would like to see how it is, it is done, uh, we can ask the professor uh, to uh, see whether you can be part of the class. And also, the interviews are a good way of um, talking to the admissions committee as well. Because I mean, the interviews is a two pro way process and uh, many times we have uh, applicants who don't know whether they would prefer the MBA or the executive MBA or the MBA or the Master of Science and Finance. 
uh, what happens is our application process is the same for all programs. So you can apply to one program and then in the interview or in your essays, you can tell us, uh, I'm torn between two, two programs. I'm undecided between these two programs. And uh, that could also be a good chance to discuss what your options would be. So our application deadline is June 30th, uh, one month ago. But as I said, we do rolling admissions. So the earlier you apply, the earlier you will hear from us. So let's see. Oh, now the tuition and the fees. Uh, the executive MBA tuition has been set for 138,000 Turkish Liras um, next year, and this is less than 20,000 uh, US dollars, I should say. Um, if you are a Koch University graduate, if you're undergraduate or any master's uh, degree is from Koch University, then you get a 25% discount. And also we have 10% to 20% corporate loyalty discounts. And uh, these are for companies that have sent more than three employees for us during the last five years. And if you would like to find out the discount for your company, you can send us an email at gsp.ku.edu.tr and we would let you know. Uh, the tuition is usually paid in two installments, one per semester, so one uh, when you're registering in July or August, and one before the spring semester starts in January and February. And if you are not using any discount, uh, then you have a right to use a loan from Yapu Credit Bank with 0% interest rate. So some uh, pictures from our beautiful campus that we have all missed so much. Um, also, one of my favorite places on campus is the Sunakrach Library. I think the library is an amazing uh, collection, an amazing resource for uh, all our students and our alumni. And uh, you can actually use many of the resources in the library online as well, so you don't have to be physically present there. Uh, the digital collections are very rich, and uh, I, I mean, I think this is a great reason to use it again as alumni throughout your life. So some information about our campuses. The top two pictures are our main campus in Rumeli Feneri. The bottom right is our Istinia campus where most of the executive MBA classes are held. The Istinia campus is actually our executive education center and the Saturday classes and the Friday classes throughout the year are held there for executive MBAs. And in the bottom left corner, you will see the Koch University Hospital uh, in Zeytinburnu. And we have some research centers uh, that are in Ankara, in Antalya, and actually the main man, Anamed, uh, uh, is in Istiklal Jadis, in Beyoğlu, in Istanbul. And the top floor is the Koch Alumni Center. So we have many of our uh, reunions or alumni events in Anamed, in Beyoğlu. Uh, this is a scene from graduation. The graduation is held uh, every third Saturday in June every year. However, uh, this year we are not having the graduation ceremony due to COVID-19. But uh, even though the classes of the Executive MBA are not completed by June, uh, our Executive MBA students still partake in the graduation ceremony and they wear their caps and gowns and walk and receive their diplomas. And usually it's a very much uh, uh, pride and fun filled event where, you know, many of the children of our executive MBA students come, are there and we enjoy it very much. So these are us. This is us on social media. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on LinkedIn. And if you have any questions, I could take them all right now. So I can actually maybe start the video so we can see each other. Let's see. So I see the thing. So I think some, uh, so I'll try to answer some of the questions. The start date of the program this year is 
The earliest possible date we believe is mid-September, so around September 14th, but this has not been confirmed yet. Uh, we're going to re be uh, looking at and monitoring the way uh, the pandemic is moving and also when the university will open. So we will be opening when the Koch University campus is open, but uh, it would be probably mid, uh, somewhere between mid and end September. Uh, so there are no scholarships available. Uh, this is a program for working executives. So uh, instead of scholarships, we have uh, corporate discounts and that depends on where you are working. And um, the, over, the cost of the overseas study trip is actually included in the tuition. Uh, you, I mean, the hotel and the courses are included in the tuition, but you do have to pay, buy your own plane ticket. Um, the session is recorded and uh, and we will be sharing with you. Uh, somebody asked about housing options for students from abroad. Uh, international students can use the housing option in the Rumeli Feneri campus. Uh, the, for graduate students, the housing is graduate apartments that are in the West Campus and these are shared between three or four people. And let me see, um, this is a part-time program um, and somebody asked, all executive MBA students are, can apply to the Yale Master of Advanced Management and um, yes, that's true. And all foreign nationals are expected to pay a similar tuition. Let me see, so uh, somebody asked about the type of changes in terms of content we made to the curriculum uh, regarding the pandemic. Uh, so initially, uh, when we had to shut down the campus, uh, we first of all made the change to move all the courses online. And uh, after a two week break, all the courses started being online. So first, instead of the content, the mode of delivery was changed. But now uh, more and more also the content is changing instead of um, maybe more emphasis on risk management, uh, more emphasis on the modeling of uh, the pandemic and how it's affecting different types of businesses. So these are all being added to the content as we move forward. Um, somebody asked about the extra semester abroad, so I'll talk a little bit about that. So uh, we have more than 270 international universities that are our partners, and you can spend a semester abroad. Uh, last year we had somebody from our executive MBA program who spent one semester at Cornell University. So uh, what happens is you apply through our Office of International uh, Programs, and uh, after you start the executive MBA. And we would uh, suggest that you apply in the fall that you start because you will be going uh, in the following fall. So fall 2021 um, or spring 2022. And uh, so we do not um, require any test results, for example, such as GMAT or TOEFL, but our partner universities may. So you really have to look at the, each university on our website and see what they require. And then you list your, uh, you make your rankings and say that, you know, these are the universities I would like to go to. And the Office of International Programs uh, looks at the, the university as a whole and uh, places our students in the, in the partner universities. So you find out uh, pretty soon, probably by the end of the first semester where you would be going for your semester abroad. Uh, for the semester abroad, there's no extra cost uh, in terms of tuition, but of course you're responsible for your living and housing arrangements uh, while you are uh, in the partner university. So somebody asked about scholarships. Uh, we don't have scholarships for our part-time programs. Uh, you can apply to the full-time programs for scholarships. Um, there, somebody asked about an online MBA program at Coach University. So we don't have an online MBA program, uh, but of course currently our, all of our programs have become online uh, overnight. But what we have with the MBA program is um, 
uh, as part of the um, global network of advanced management, you can take your elective courses online in the MBA program uh, from actually partner universities as well as from Koch. So for the MBA program, you could be doing if uh, your main courses, your core courses in class and taking your electives online. So that's one difference between the MBA and executive MBA as well. The MBA has ex uh, elective courses and the executive MBA, all the courses are um, required courses. But then having said that, um, we don't know exactly how going back to campus will be. Um, it could be that, you know, in the fall semester, uh, some students will be on campus and some students will be watching it online. So we don't know that yet, but I think if uh, you would like to take courses online from Coach University, probably the best time is uh, this year, because I think we will have, we, will, we are now used to filming all the classes. The classrooms now are being equipped with cameras to make sure that we capture all the lectures. So I think uh, there might be an option, but it's not, it's not really a fully online program. So the school fee is divided into two. Uh, however, if you get a loan from Yapa Credit, that's divided into 12 installments. And many of our students usually take the loan once when they register in the summer, in July, and then once in January. And they're both divided to 12 installments. So that actually works out to be 18 installments. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, so the f total fee is 138,000, so half of that, yeah. Um, okay, so I get, I have a question that says, I would prefer not to take online courses. Um, but the announcement about the class structure, we, we are moving forward as if we're going to have the face-to-face -face classes, definitely. However, we don't know how the travel restrictions will be. Um, we have international faculty, like you've seen on the slide, so we don't know when they will be able to get come to Turkey. Um, so uh, at this point, we're really aiming for having the classroom, having the courses face-to-face -face in the classroom, but for students that prefer not to be in the classroom with other people, we would like to have an option to, for them to follow the same course online. Um, I see a question about the conditions of the hypocrisy. I All I know is that it should be 0%, but uh, we can, if you would like, you know, to ask us more. Well, for, to apply for the loan, you have to be accepted to our program first. So I would recommend you apply and then we talk about it. Um, so somebody has said you, you have a master's degree in English, uh, but don't have relevant experience. Uh, I don't know what you mean by relevant experience, but this uh, program requires a minimum of seven years of work experience and a minimum of two years of uh, team management experience. So, uh, but if you would like to apply, we can direct you to uh, maybe a more relevant program. Okay, I see a question. Would I have an option not to attend the program if the class structure is decided to be online only? Um, I think yes, of course, it's really up to you. I mean, by the time the program starts, it will be decided. And I don't expect it to be online only, uh, but uh, it could be that maybe the first classes are online, but of course you always have the option to withdraw from the program. Any other questions? I should kind of sorry to interrupt. This is Melissa. Um, just to point out, we have some questions in the uh, Q and A box. If you want to have a look at them in the open tab. Mm -hmm. There was a question: Can candidates complete their four-month project during the exchange? If you go for a term abroad, yes, you can do that. Um, we instead of a mentoring component, we have a coaching uh, part of the program. So um, that's it. The classes, let me see actually, do I have the poll results? So I've got the, I will end the polls and I've got the poll results here. 
Can I share it with you? Yes. Um, so um, for those of you, the uh, 30 people that have less than seven years, I would really recommend that you join our MBA info session tomorrow at the same time, uh, because you will not be eligible for this program. But I see that actually the majority has an experience of more than 12 years, and that's great. Like you saw, the average of our current class is also 13 years. Um, and I see that 58% uh, of our participants are, that took the poll are based in Istanbul. I mean, if you are not living in Istanbul, um, you, need to, you need to regularly actually come to Istanbul on the weekend classes. However, again, we're, we're sort of thinking that we're refiguring this with the online courses now. We would like to make it so that you would be you wouldn't have to come maybe every weekend and take some of it online. Just watch the class online. Uh, I have a question that says, can we attend some elective courses from other programs? Uh, for the executive MBA program, there are no elective lessons. So uh, if you want, I guess there's nothing to stop you from taking other programs, but it would not count towards your executive MBA degree. Also, uh, Really, the time management could be an issue. This is a, a very intense program. So I really would not recommend that you take any other courses other than the executive MBA courses during this program. Um, somebody asked if the program provides eligibility to proceed to a doctorate program. In Turkey, actually, this is a non-thesis program. So this is a non-thesis master's program. And in Turkey, if you have a non-thesis master's program, then uh, the way you apply to PhD is the way that anybody with only an undergraduate degree applies. So it doesn't really feed into a doctor program. What could happen is that you could uh, sort of uh, have some of your courses count for credit when you start the doctorate, but it doesn't really feed into the doctorate program because this is more for working professionals and we believe that the PhD degree is really for academicians. Um, somebody asked if you need a letter from employer to verify management experience. These are really, I mean, we have the reference letters, so if you could get a reference from your employer, that would be uh, enough for us. Mm, what is the total tuition for the executive MBA program for next year is 138,000 Turkish Liras and that's a little bit less than 20,000 uh, US dollars. Uh, somebody asked if there are new requirements for the study abroad exchange programs and some partners may have uh, their own requirements such as somebody might ask for a TOEFL exam uh, but we, you really need to check with that, uh, with our Office of International Programs and what each university uh, is looking for. Some uh, partners may have a GPA, uh, you know, a minimum GPA. It really depends and changes from university to university. So, so I, there was someone from Samsung asking about uh, coming. So, uh, we've had students coming and traveling each week. If, and in, the senior, in the senior campus, we actually have, since it's our executive education center, we also have rooms uh, that the students can stay on in uh, sort of very nominal fees. Let me see anything else. I think... I th so I'm not seeing any new questions. I hope, I hope that, you know, we have answered your questions and if we still have questions, oh, okay, sorry, I just saw some. What if an attendant cannot provide a new reference letter? Um, it could be that you might not want a reference letter from your current employer. In that uh, case, anybody that you have worked with that has known you in a professional capacity, it could be a client, it could be a teammate, or, uh, you know, I mean, worst case, somebody um, from your university, that, that could work as well. But we would like you to upload the reference letter. So... Um, 
For international students, I mean, of course, we uh, encourage them to apply to the Executive MBA, but you really have to keep in mind that this is a program for working professionals. And, uh, you know, if you're going to be leaving your job to come to Turkey, um, you know, that's something to be considered. And you cannot really come from abroad every week to join these, this program, I would think. But if you do have, uh, like I said, most of the international students we have in the program are usually people who are currently working in Turkey and that are not Turkish uh, citizens. Let's see if I have... Um, so thank you for all being here. As I said, we will be sharing uh, the, the presentation with you. And if you have any questions, please send us an email at uh, gsb.ku.edu.tr. And uh, thank you for joining us. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.